Hi friends, my name is Sergeant Host Eric, and I'd like to welcome you to the Tech Police. Try as you might, you just can't hide, cause you're mistyped. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night. Tie police, tie police. Please pull that guy over. He says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted, sensing to me. I think he's ESFP or type police. Today we type somebody by the name of. Marty, I think. See, you as an INFJ are sitting in the boat watching this train wreck, or in this case, this individual, run around the boat not being able to decide what in the hell they're doing and what they're going on because they've already determined they don't want your advice. You as the INFJ have already decided I'm not giving it, but there is something you have been trying to do. What you've been trying to do is you've been trying, is that where it goes? You've been trying to put up the main mast, sail, and more importantly, the spinnaker. All right, so basically what's happening is you take this little example, and when you are an INFJ, if you find yourself inside of a boat with a bunch of other people, and all you're doing is trying to put up a main sail and a spinnaker to get in the exact direction you want to go. And every single, I don't know, every single, I can't make a decision, every single time someone else, in this case, one person or 20 in the boat is unable to make a decision. That is the same as you running up, putting up the main mast and putting up the spinnaker. And all of these people, one or 20, all of them are fighting you tooth and nail through what they're saying and their inability to make a decision, yes or no, because they can't get past all the stimulus and they can't see that far in the future. Let me say right off the bat, I normally like INFJs and that doesn't seem to be very good at FE. It seems to be seems to be a TE frame. He's trying to be, get people to, or, or an SETE frame. He's trying to get people to make a decision to go and do shit, you know, and they're not doing it. He sounds kind of like an ENTJ, really. And he still hasn't said one of the things that the INFJ would never say, which is a very, his whole approach to this video does not feel like an INFJ voice at all. Um, it sounds like any, and he is, he does come across as off-putting. He insists that he knows his stuff, right? That's not typically the approach an INFJ is going to take, um, because they kind of see all the FE traps in there. They don't want to get into the battle. Yeah, I do like his class board. I wish I had that. <laughs> uh, but he definitely doesn't seem like an NI dom to me in any way, shape, or form. Um. I mean, I'd be, I'd be curious. It is true that INFJs don't like it when somebody asks them advice and then they give them advice, but then they just keep asking the same advice over and over because they can't, they don't want to accept the advice. But that's different than wanting them to make a decision, you know? It, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to watch from my perspective. Um, but, you know, it's got 9,500 views and just not that many, many months. Um, let's see if he gets around to what he, what INFJ will never say. Not. And the personality types have already been determined. You get each other and you're in this situation. This is what an INFJ will never say. Do you know the direction that we are supposed to be going. Never gonna happen. That 
is never going to come out of an INFJ's mouth. If you are an INFJ, when was the last time you said, I don't know? If you were dating an INFJ or with one, when was the last time you heard them say, I don't know? Last time I asked her a question she didn't know the answer to. Um, of course, it's true if you ask an INFJ about about the about like what do you think Mia is? They'll give you an answer, but if you're asking them a kind of question that requires them to know something or not, then then they they're very likely to say, "I don't know" if they don't know. It's kind of cringy. I mean, I don't find it cringy. I just find myself feeling as though this guy's trying to get by on tone, you know, basically tone. Chris and I, I tend to agree with that. He's definitely not an INFJ, right? Uh, I mean, there's no way in hell he's an INFJ. I've never met an INFJ who is so who takes seven and a half minutes to get to the topic of the video. Break it up five and five. The first half was one way, and the second half was a, another way. What happened to him, regardless of the relationship being um, a homosexual relationship or just friends, because I wasn't exactly clear because it didn't say, when you meet someone, whether or not they are doing the community effect or they are mirror, the individual is going to be a different person there and there. Yeah, this guy's gotta be T.I. Polar. He has to be. There's just, there's just no actual analysis here, is what it boils down to. There's no analysis. There's making claims and no explanation as to why we should think his claims about INFJs are correct. There's no, apparently, no referencing to cognitive functions at all. Like this diagram here, it looks like no diagram any INFJ I've ever seen would draw. It looks like an NE user's. Uh, diagram on this mirroring thing. He's still rambling on about it, and he. I, and again, I'm not 49 years old saying trucker mouth fuck shit, but this is basically what the INFJ is saying: is what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm the same person every single day I wake up. I try to be the same because I don't want you to question my morality, my honor, my self-respect, or my love or my trust in you in this relationship and the fact that I would die for you by not looking at what I was that when you met me and how you fell in love with me because I can never change from the day you fell in love with me or met me because if you fall in love with me and I change, it means that I was fake. And an INFJ, it mailed me, Marty Glenn, I'm not motherfucking fake, I'm not fake, so therefore I'm gonna remain the same and be the same and my God, if I fall off the wagon and dip a little bit, I'm gonna be on myself, come back and make sure he could be ENFP. He could be ENFP. No, he's not an INFP. He is. He for him, it is very significant that everybody understand that he's an expert and they need to listen to him because of his knowing his stuff. Okay, I he doesn't sound ENFJ to me at all. I mean, I don't find him friendly. I find him condescending and um, and and his condescension totally unjustified because he's not explaining anything with any kind of justification that anybody should take seriously, you know? Well, I, I mean, the thing is, C.J. O'Connell's a nice guy. He's an ENFP. He's playing ENFPs that I've, I've, um, I've liked a lot. It's, uh, I think they get nasty when they're, when they're doing stuff that's, that requires them to use TI and they don't know how to use it. And I mean, look, not everyone is. Email the anthrax says, I really enjoy talking to them. Okay. Um, 
get to the point as well. There doesn't seem to be any point. He's got a central claim, but again, it's not because he's not justifying it with any any links to anything else. There's no reason for us to believe his claim is true, no matter how thoroughly he explains it. If he doesn't justify it, then you know, yeah. So ulterior motive says. By friendly, I mean he is passionate about expressing what he thinks is so important. Yeah, but, I mean, can you imagine somebody passionately teaching that to figure out a multiplication problem, you add the two numbers together? You go, why are you teaching math wrong? He has such passion. Well, it's not okay. Alterio Motors is not negative passion. He's very much, though, as Chris N points out, this is the absolute truth, and never here's why this is the absolute truth. So, I mean, that says ENFP. He I mean, the chance of him being an INFJ is zero. There's zero possibility of that guy being an INFJ. He is nothing like an INFJ. I'm sure he is harmless. What, what am I saying? He's harmful? I'm not saying he's harmful. I'm saying he's wrong. And I don't like him, but you know, he, he I'm sure he doesn't like me either, if he knows about me at all. <laughs> he certainly won't like me after this video. He just needs direction. I mean, He's heavily invested into complete nonsense, right? It's like he's heavily invested in the idea that he's an INFJ and can disseminate information about INFJs accordingly. But uh, of course, you know how are you gonna how are you gonna give him direction? Yeah, I, I, thank you, Octavia. I just not that long ago had a uh, a Uncrustables peanut butter and jelly. I mean, the problem is this. There, there are plenty of areas where ENFPs can thrive like this. For example, astrology or um, numerology or aroma healing or you know, any of that kind of stuff. But this is this is a TI heavy endeavor. He's just he's just not going to ever ever be able to do it. It's, it's like me trying to be an a grief counselor or something. I'm just not that empathetic. So, uh, yeah, definitely not an uh, INFJ. How am I underestimating him? I mean, we all saw it. Right. So, look, I have many talents as well. Note that I'm not making a YouTube channel about how to fix automobiles because I don't know how to fix automobiles. ENFP could do that one. They've got TE in the third slot. It might give them a lot of satisfaction. You can see all the satisfaction the third slot TE has in solving other people's problems <laughs> in other videos, you know. Um, You know, it's like, uh, it's as simple as, as he's not equipped to do work in a TI heavy field like this. I'm not equipped to do work in a field that requires me to menstruate. So, I mean, getting a job, trying to spend all my time talking about menstruation and insisting that I menstruate when I don't is silly. <laughs> that would be a funny joke to make in that context all over line. Huh? Eric is a grief counselor, patient. My wife just suddenly died. I'll never get over it. Eric, have you tried to smoke a bowl? <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Um, the, the takeaway here from this, which will be cut into an episode of Type Police, probably, since I'm recording it on the other thing, too, uh, is... <laughs> Home fries, get your 
ENFP ass in the back of the car, you are going to type jail. There's no fucking way in hell you ever have been or ever will be or an INFJ. Really trying to bust your chops or anything that much, although I guess I thoroughly busted the shit out of them. But seriously, if you're going to come with this tone of like a condescending expert, you kind of deserve my foot up your ass. So, sorry. Thanks for watching. Rock and roll. Try as you might, you just can't hide. Cause you're mistyped. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night. Type police. Type police. Please pull that guy over. He says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted sensing to me. I think he's ESFP. Or type police.